Ryan Allgaier, creative director of, Inside, uh, Ratchet, of Ratchet and Clank Tools of Destruction. Yeah. Right, so first of all, how are you finding the expo and just our wonderful city in general? <laughs> I think it's fantastic. I mean, it's so cool to be able just to come to a, a space and see a lot of different types of games that are out there, get a wonderful preview of what's to come, and there's just some great presentations. Uh, just you know, hearing um, about how music is uh, interwoven into the, uh, the Metal Gear Solid games, uh, it's really fantastic. Have you been around the show floor much? I've walked around a little bit. Mainly I've been uh, stressing out about my, my presentation. So, now that I, that's over with, I'm going to wander around and have some fun. So speaking specifically about your presentation, you talked a lot about how um, the advancements in technology are also helping the advancements in the core sort of principles of game design. A lot of people argue, being that Ratchet & Clank is a platformer, platformers have kind of worked since 2D and even sort of a small translation when they moved to 3D. Do you really think the ups and ups and ups and ups of technology offer more for platforming? Or does it kind of superfluous? I think there's a lot of different definitions for a platformer. I mean, the fact that you have a character that can jump around doesn't necessarily make it a platformer. And that a lot of action adventures are very character driven. Uh, you could say that uh, Uncharted Drake's Fortune is a platformer because Drake jumps all over the place, but it's not. It's a great adventure. And so I think there's just a lot of uh, room for the Ratchet franchise to continue to grow. But like speaking about technology specifically, do you think technology is really aiding like game design as a core, or do you think it's just uh, a nice icing to the cake, if you will? Uh, I think that games um, can be both uh, realistic and these simulations. They can also be very metaphorical and stylistic, and that there's a, there's a lot of areas to go into in making an experience that doesn't necessarily have to be realistic. I mean, technology can be used for anything. Uh, I think that's what you're getting at. Yeah. Well. I suppose the point being that uh, whether or not technology is helping us or whether or not technology is just nice to have. Um, you know, the fact that you have more processing power, there's always trade-offs that we make when we design games. Sometimes we will limit the number of characters, we'll limit the view distance, we'll limit the amount of detail. We'll somehow subtract to, uh, from the experience to make the game work. And now we don't have to do that as much. We can just really play with all these new toys and new tech. And really, like anything, it has to enhance the experience. It's not going to create it for you. So you've also, the company with Insomniac Games has also worked on Resistance as well. And so how is it different to Resistance and Ratchet and & Clank? Like how, obviously, like the two very sort of different games in, the, in a broad perspective, how is it working on these two projects? I think it's great. It gives people the opportunity to shift gears. Uh, when we went from Ratchet Gladiator to resistance, that was a nice change of pace for everybody. We got a lot of fans around the office that love playing first person shooters, they like the more serious games, so for them that works out really well. Uh, and so then coming back from resistance to ratchet just kind of mixes up the pace and it really challenges our artists and designers to work on these two different genres that look and play very different. Okay, so speaking about game design, do you think if you could just make one sort of like call out to the industry, if there's one thing that people are continually doing wrong? If you can make, so if you make one nitpicking comment, what would that be? Oh wow, that's a tough one. Um, I would say that pay attention to pacing. Um, I've played too many games with too many fetch quests. I've designed too many games with too many fetch quests. Something that I'm working on. But really, pay attention to the pacing and make sure that the player feels empowered at the right moments. Don't take that power away. Uh, a lot of times games can be too grueling, too hard, this endless grind, and there are times where people just want to feel powerful and, and have fun. All right, thanks so much for your time. Thank you. That's it from us.